Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel, Iraqi Dinar. If you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time to do so for all the latest videos and updates. Today, we're diving into some exciting news surrounding the Vietnamese Dong, VND, and the Iraqi Dinar, IQD. Trust me, you won't want to miss this, so stay with me until the end. Let's kick things off with an update from Intel Guru MN. The ongoing project to delete zeros from the Iraqi dinar is once again making headlines. I've been advised to keep an eye out for more articles about this initiative, but it's crucial to remember, only trust information coming from the official committee overseeing this project. I have an insider who works directly with the Central Banks Committee, and they've shared some vital insights. Their mission is to ensure a smooth transition for Iraq as it moves forward with these currency reforms. Now, here's the exciting part, we're looking at late November or early December for the release of new lower denominations of the Iraqi dinar. Not only will these new notes be introduced, but we'll also get a first look at their designs and features, all of which will be posted on the Central Bank of Iraq's, CBI, website. This is a significant step in modernizing the currency and improving the overall economic land escape. Another key development is the expected end of currency auctions by the end of 2024. This milestone is crucial as it indicates that things are on track for a healthier financial future in Iraq. There's also the possibility that the IQD could be relisted on Forex by early 2025 which would be a monumental change for the currency and its investors. Next up, Intel guru Mai Ivipt provides us with another fascinating update. Although they often claim to have no ties to Iraq, they are set to open 10 new branches in the country while simultaneously working to modernize the banking system. This clear commitment suggests that there's something significant brewing behind the scenes, pointing towards a more integrated financial framework. Moving on, let's talk about the recent announcement from the International Coalition regarding the end of its mission in Iraq within 12 months. Interestingly, they make this proclamation annually, so we're left to wonder, is this truly the end, or just another routine announcement? We'll have to wait and see how this unfolds. Now, let's take a look at some important economic data. Abdul Jr., a spokesperson from the Ministry of Planning, revealed that annual inflation in Iraq remains below 3%. He explained that while there's a robust cash flow in the market, it's one of the key factors influencing the inflation rate. In early September, the ministry reported a 3.7% rise in inflation for July 2023 compared to the same month in 2022. This follows a smaller 0.6% increase in inflation for June. The government is making a concerted effort to keep inflation within acceptable limits, but we should remain vigilant regarding this trend. Looking ahead, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, has projected that Iraq's inflation will reach 4% in 2024. The Central Organization of Statistics and Information Technology has already noted a slight increase of 0.6% as of February 2024. While Iraq's inflation rates appear relatively stable, it's essential to consider the broader context inflation in neighboring countries like Iran and Turkey is soaring, with rates hitting 46% and 57%, respectively. Additionally, the exchange rate of the US dollar continues to rise, particularly in Baghdad and Erbil. As of Sunday, the exchange rate hit 1,552 IQD per dollar in Baghdad and 1,549 IQD in Erbil. This fluctuation in the dollar's value across Iraq's capital cities is something we should keep a close eye on. That wraps up today's updates. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends to help spread the knowledge. I love hearing your thoughts so feel free to leave comments with your take on these developments. And of course, 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more in-depth insights and exciting news on the IQD, VND, and beyond. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay tuned, stay informed, and stay awesome.